When creating an application, you may want to add the menu bar widget to the left side of the layout to enable navigation between multiple mashups. Note that before creating a menu, you should create the mashups that you want to navigate to. In this example, a few mashups have been created in advance. This video will demonstrate how to add and configure the widget in a layout that has a parent and a contained mashup. Here are the three main steps that we're going to perform. We'll create data for the menu bar items. Then we'll create a parent mashup. Finally, we'll add a contained mashup widget and configure the menu bar. Let's get started. First, you must define the menu items using a menu entity or an info table that uses the menu item data shape. In this example, we'll create a menu entity in Composer. Click New, then choose Menu from the list. Type a name and select an associated project for the entity, then open the Menu Definition tab. Click Add to define a new item. In the right pane, set the item type, the title to display on the menu bar, the link to the mashup entity, a target, and an icon. To set a default item to display when a mashup with a menu bar is initialized, select the default checkbox. Repeat these steps to define any additional items or menus that you want to display on the menu bar. Note that you can create a second level of navigation by adding a menu entity as an item. Now we're ready to create the application layout. Let's create a parent mashup that contains a menu bar widget. In Composer, click New, then choose Mashup, then choose the left panel with Menu Template. The template provides a mashup with a menu bar widget and the required layout configurations. You can also create a layout with a menu bar manually. For information about the container settings required for a manual configuration, refer to the menu bar widget topic in the ThingWorks Help Center. Name the mashup and select an associated project. Then click the Design tab to open the Mashup Builder interface. The mashup contains a sidebar container with a menu bar widget and an empty body container. Now let's edit the template by adding a contained mashup widget and configuring the menu bar widget. Drag the contained mashup widget from the widgets panel to the body container in the layout. We'll use the menu bar selection data to replace the contained mashup. By default, the menu bar replaces the entire mashup. To replace the contained mashup, change the value of the mashup control menu bar property to Bind to Mashup Parameters. Then, bind the Menu Mashup property to the Contained Mashup Name property. A binding is created between the two widgets. When an item is clicked on the menu bar, the Contained Mashup is automatically updated. You can now configure the menu items. To use a menu entity instead of the default info table data format, set the Data Source Menu Bar property to Menu Entity. Select the menu entities that you created previously for the Primary Nav Menu and Secondary Nav Menu properties. To show icons for the Primary and Secondary Navigation items, enable the Primary Nav Icons and Secondary Nav Icons properties. You can also use the Submenu Type property to choose from one of two submenu types, Cascading Menus or Nested Accordion Sections. The cascading menu opens each navigation level as a submenu to the right. The nested accordion sections open vertically, and each level is indented to the right. Optionally, define the footer area by adding an icon, a label, or a URL. Click Save, then View Mashup to view the menu bar at runtime. The items you defined within the menu entity are listed, and the mashup associated with the default item is displayed initially. You can expand and collapse the menu bar to make the widget more compact using the toggle button. To resize the widget when it is expanded, click and drag the resizing handle. When you click on an item, 
the contained mashup is updated with the associated mashup in the menu entity. For more information about the menu bar widget, refer to the topic in the ThingWorks Help Center. Thank you for watching.